Good day everybody, welcome to another OBD scanner video. I've been trying to find the ultimate OBD scanner. The search is still on. However, today we got the Creator 619. This is an OBD scanner, but it can also do ABS and airbags as well. Let's have a look at this baby. So in the back, get your USB, and it's also got a memory card. Comes with a dropped it eight gigabytes. So we must we must be able to save data to the scanner. Feels good in the hand. What do we got here? Support OBD, mode 1 to 10, support ABS, read clear DTC, live data, save and review. That's interesting. So basically, I've reviewed one similar, but this one here can do, I don't know what control of the onboard system is. We need to plug it in and find it out. 2010 and newer permanent gold retriever. All right. Let's go smoke a blunt. If I can plug this in the truck. Ah, I guess it's not touch screen. My bad. My bad. Do you want the beeper on? We do not want the beeper on. Let's escape out of this. Record mode. Interesting. Let's go into diagnose. I'm gonna have to turn that vehicle on. Go, okay, we'll have an engine code for the catalytic converter. Let's just go to scan. Hey, ooh, look at that, eh? Let's go to Ford. Diagnose. Please wait. Version 12.65. Um, what happens now? I'm in here. We're gonna go look at something else. Checking vials. Automatically search. And what are we searching for? Mm. Maybe I press OK again. Oh, there we go. Mm. Hints. What kind of hints do we got going on here? Please wait. Zero percent. Communication message, attention if you meet any problem during the test. Okay. Let's go automatic. Ooh, 4x4 four four module. Look at that. We can look at some extra modules with this one. Let's look at the 4x4 four four control module. What does it say? Read. Fault data. I shouldn't have anything. Key on, engine off. That's what I thought. Let's, let's read current data. See what comes up. Let's see what comes up. Please wait. I'm waiting long enough. Let's get this show on the road. Well, that's pretty cool, eh? I hit OK. What does that do? Do anything in the dash? What does that do? I select OK. And what? Oh, I guess you gotta go to the data stream. Maybe, eh? I don't know. Let's just. Alright. I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm just clicking shit. Right. Visual safety switch. Okay. 
No, what? Did I back out? Oh, that's kind of cool. Two wheel drive off. Clockwise shift motor driver off. Four wheel drive clutch off. Start position no. Neutral safety off. So if I hit four wheel drive, I just clicked. Oh shit, look at that, eh? It says on. The clutch status was at 97%. Oh my god. Four wheel drive status high. So I'm going to turn it off. Two wheel drive. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Interesting. Let's back out of this. Back out of all of it. All of it. ABS won't have uh, any issues. No, I didn't think it would. But. Read current data. I'm actually pretty impressed with this. I thought it was just going to be another, um, another boring type scanner, but apparently not. Let's just randomly select stuff. Then we can just like see, you know, let's click brakes on off relay. Let's just back this out now. Look at that, eh? Sweet! Back her out! I'm not sure what this restraint control is. We'll find out when we go to read current data. Ooh, must be a lot. I have to scan quite a bit there. Oh, oh, we're on pause mode! Please wait 28 to 140, 50, 70, 84. Oh, we're stuck. We're stuck. Shut her down. Come on, just a little bit more. You're almost there. 140. What do we got here? What can we read here? Man, there's lots of crap here, eh? What is all this stuff? Pretension circuit open. You guys really want to see all this stuff? I don't know what all this is. Airbag. We're not even halfway done. Man, there's so much stuff for the airbag stuff, eh? That's crazy. I've never seen so much. Anyways, just back out of here. Oh, what if I hit the ER? Hmm, guess I was in the wrong Ford. Probably need to find, is there an American Ford? Euro Ford? I didn't realize that, my bad, my bad. USA Ford, maybe that's where I should be and still worked. Still the same. Let's get back inside. Automatically search. I'll bypass this and get back to you in a second. Turn into the OBD part of it. Let's go to read codes. So I know I got one CP0420 because my catalytic converter is um, removed from this truck. So we can go erase codes. Okay, I am readiness. And data, uh, can we go to O2 sensor test? Just have a look at this, bank one, sensor one. Rich to lean sensor. Status pass. I like that, the O2 sensor test. Uh, EVAP system test. Not support it. Fair enough. Let's go into data stream. Because one of the best things about the data stream is that I like to... Um, I like to see a graph. I'm pretty sure this here will give us a graph. So, fuel system closed loop. I wonder if I... 
probably can't just I probably have to view graphic items let's go uh, let's go short term let's go long term let's go ignition tense or let's go ignition timing and we'll back this out and then we're gonna start printing on the graph there we got too much crap in there for clutter but My short-term field trim should be closer to zero. Wonder if I got like a vacuum leak happening in the works. But the engine's cold too. So I just got on my short-term field trims, uh, bank one and two. They're looking a little bit better now. I find having an OBD scanner that be able to graph is the best thing because that way you can see the data happening. I don't know about you guys, but I just think that was actually pretty cool to be able to access some of the modules there like the ABS, the airbag, and the 4x4 module, which I did not expect it to see at all. Once again, it's got a larger screen, especially when you get older like me, and pretty soon you're going to start to need bifocals, so that definitely helps out. Got some cool features. I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. It'll come in handy. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.